obviously the um, Oscar Zavada hasn't joined the team on uh, the flight. I understand you're, you're still holding out hope that he, he might be able to get to, to Adelaide. Just from a teammate's perspective, um, is he going to be a big loss if he, if he doesn't make the trip? Yeah, obviously he's got double-digit goals now, which is very good for the team and what you want for your from your number nine and um, and in striker. So it's yeah, it's um, if he doesn't play, it's still up in the air. I think so. We've got players that can come in and fill that role as well that we're confident in. Um, I feel so. I think whoever does come in will understand that role. And and um, yeah, it is a loss, but we have to. We can't dwell on it. It's, um, it's natural. Obviously, his wife's giving birth, so that's very important for him to be there as well. Yeah, so you've been quite restless at training this week. I'm sure he was in Auckland, um, just, you know, waiting, waiting for the arrival. Oh, he's been quite calm actually. He's just had his phone on him at all times, which is good. Um, but yeah, he's, I thought personally he's handled it very well. Yeah, and how big of a game is this against Adelaide? Yeah, it's a massive game. We win, we, I think we go equal second um, looking at it. And, and even last week was a big game to just break away a little bit. So it's, um, yeah, going to this game, we're just going to go do our do our thing, that which we, which we have been, and um, not play the occasion, just just play the game in front of us. Yeah, and obviously you confirmed a couple of weeks ago that you're going to be leaving at the end of the season. How do you sort of, um, yeah, let that... So we're still focus on, on the task at hand with the Phoenix. You know, the yeah, it's as a professional footballer, footballer, it's something that you have to wipe pretty quickly, and you can't look too far into the future. And and for me personally, I just take football game by game. Um, next season is next season, and I feel there's a big opportunity with this group that we can do something here this year. Um, so that for me is the driving goal, um, and will be till the end of the season. So, like I said, it's it's something I've only played one final series, so I would love to play another one. Um, so we're heading in the right direction, so we just got to keep going, working hard and, and um, just focusing game by game. Yeah, and what sort of the reason that you are just sort of yeah, just seeing the one season and, and heading back to Australia? Uh, for me it was a challenge coming here um, on and off the field, so that was something like I said when I came here I was looking forward to, um, going back to playing my style of football, which I feel I have been. So yeah, just in, enjoyed my time and, and um, winning games and, and playing a, a system that suited me and um, yeah, enjoyed my time off the field as well. Reaction to uh, today's news about two new A League clubs potentially. I mean, what, what does that mean for the league? It's great. I feel it's ex- exciting here, especially in New Zealand. Um, having another uh, Auckland team based here will be excellent. It'll it'll give more players opportunities because um, you look here. There's only one professional team, and and they do well every year um, at the Phoenix. So it's. I think I feel having two teams here will grow the game, um, and also having a team in Canberra just expanding it to make it grow bigger and bigger, and then eventually, uh, hopefully, that relegation battle will, will come in as well. So, yeah, I think it's excellent for the league. Because you think, from like a Phoenix perspective, um, it'd be awesome, you know, to have two New Zealand teams. Like, you know, if you'd gone to Auckland last weekend, it was a, another New Zealand team you were playing. Yeah, 100. percent It's a, it's a derby when you look at it. It's a New Zealand derby. It would be excellent. Um, drive both clubs to to push for the best players in the country as well. So I think it's a it's a good thing on and off the field and and it's it's going to be good. I think there has been a bit of backlash with things like that uh, about another New Zealand team, but it's it's a club like Wellington that's done well so well over the years. Why not put another one in there? Yeah, because as an Australian that's come over to New Zealand, have you got a different appreciation for you know what a New Zealand team brings to the able? Yeah, 100%. Oh, I feel back in the day I can, I can say I wasn't for the travel, but now being here I can... I can see it's an advantage playing here, um, having teams travel and, and like I said, you, the Wellington Phoenix have gone under the radar for so many years, um, so yeah, I do have a much bigger appreciation. Is there adequate depth across Australia and New Zealand in terms of football for two new teams to be successful competitors? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you see the two teams that came in, MacArthur and, and Western United that year, they both finished finals first year, so I think if the research is done properly, um, and especially here in New Zealand, I think there's plenty of depth um, being the one team, so I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. Do you think it's going to be easier for young professionals now, or if there is a new team coming do you think it's easier for New Zealand young professionals to get into that pathway? Um, numbers wise, maybe, yes, but with the second division as well, it also that promotes the youth side of football. Um, maybe they have to take that step first to get into A-League teams. So I don't think by introducing just one team, it just automatically brings out spots for young players. I still feel they have to work for that um, as well. So yeah, in a way it could and in a way it couldn't, but um, I think that second division as well is quite important for that.